it's you press down the little cigarettes to oh. holy <laughs> crap <laughs> What's going on guys? Jessica and Zena here and as you can see we're sitting in the trunk of the car. Freezing. Freezing. It's getting cold. There's a bunch of stuff back here. So um, we actually just did our first actual private pick, right? I don't think we've ever done a private pick before. Mm, Not that I can think of. Not that I can think of the top of my head. So what was it probably a month ago that you found some stuff on Facebook? Zena found some cool stuff on Facebook. It was a, um, we actually still have them. I need to get them listed. A My Buddy doll and a kid sister ball, uh, ball, ball. <laughs> doll in their boxes. Um, we paid $50 for them. Um, the boxes are a little rough, but they've never been um, untied or anything like that. So they're actually pretty cool. Um, I need to get those listed, but um, the same lady also had a box filled with the, um, not Snoopy, what are they? Uh, now you're Smurfs. It. Smurfs. They're the Smurfs glasses from like the 80s, right? Yeah. You would buy them at like, I think McDonald's with your meal. You could pay like a dollar or a dollar 99 and get a, a collector glass. So originally the deal was for my buddy and kid sister. Right. A good habit to get into, which sometimes I forget, is when you make a deal with somebody you're going to meet up to check to see if they're selling anything else because right. a lot of times they are. And while we were there waiting for her in the parking lot, I did that and I found that she was selling 44 Smurf glasses. Mm -hmm. And so when we were making the deal, I said, hey, I noticed this too. And that turned into, well, I've got even more. And mm -hmm. so that turned into a private Yeah, so today. we bought that box of 44 glasses for, was it 50 bucks? Mm -hmm. $50 for 44 glasses. And some of you may be saying, well, those don't sell for much on eBay or something like that. That's, that is true. And it's glass, so, you know, shipping glasses always a little nerve-wracking but we can sell those in our booth we have sold the exact same glasses numerous times and we'll just keep a full set up there and as they sell we'll replace the ones that sell and we sell them for is it six dollars a piece so six dollars times 44 you do the math that's um a lot more than fifty dollars so we will definitely make yeah. our money back it'll just take some time but making that additional deal with her led to she said i've got more at my house I don't live far from here and I normally don't invite people over. This is the first time she's done Facebook stuff. So she invited us over to her house and we were like, yeah, we'll, we'll come take a look. And um, she's got quite a bit of stuff. It was her mother's, her, unfortunately her parents have both passed on and they still own the house and all the stuff in it. And her mom was quite the collector. So we got to go check it out. We bought a, did we buy anything else that day? I don't think so. No, that we day, just, just bought those, those two. those two things. We but were trying to. Yeah, we were trying to buy a few more things, but she wasn't quite ready yet. She's no, still trying to go through it. She had somebody else who in the works. That's true. She did have um, a big deal with uh, Cabbage Patch dolls. How many was it? 22 it was, or 24 of them? They new in box. New in box, old, new old stock um, Cabbage Patch dolls. And she sold them to the other lady because she already had a deal with her. But um, And then she told us that lady was going to take them all out of the box. And we both died. But um, So... Zena's kept in contact with her and um, she contacted us yesterday, I think it was, or the day before, and we set up a meeting for today. And we went back and we bought a, a trunk full. So we got some pretty cool stuff. We're going to share it with you guys. Um, I guess let's just get into it. You ready? All right, so here we go. Uh, look at all this. Oh my goodness. So much stuff. This here is a moose, cast iron moose doorstop. Yeah, I found this out in the shed and I said, oh, that's cool. And she goes, well, that's a word for it. She didn't think it was cool at all, but it's a cast iron, yeah, doorstop is what you said, right? Yeah. Zena just looked that up and it sells for, or someone had it, did they just have it listed or did listed. it sell? It was just listed. Listed for 75, but I think that's a really cool item for our booth. Okay. Uh, here, go ahead and do these, this right here. That's all okay. the camera stuff, right? Yeah, so there's this uh, in the, Weather case, it's the original Polaroid camera. Yep, Polaroid with the, looks like it has the, um, yep, it's got the paperwork down in there. So we haven't really researched a bunch of this yet. We just kind of bought things that we knew we thought would do well in the booth or wherever. And then along with that, we found these little brownie cameras. These will do well in the booth, if not on eBay. I'll have to look them up. There's two different sizes there. Those are super cool. 
This is um, another Polaroid. You can see their land camera. This one is huge though. Flip that over Sorry. so we can see it. Who's out of the way? Or I'll flip it over. Look at this thing. It's a honker, man. It's heavy, very, very heavy. That's over like probably a good five pounds. Uh, there's some controllers in here. Yeah, and there's some other stuff in here. I got these. Uh, this is a Magnavox remote. I think this goes to a VCR or a DVD VCR combo, maybe. I'll have to see. I got um, a camera remote for a Canon camera. I know I can sell that. An extra battery, new old stock. Look at the original price on that, $49. New old stock Nikon battery, so that's cool. Uh, another remote that will pair with another VCR. This super cool little light transistor radio. What does it call it? It's got a name on it. Philco? Transistone. I was looking at, oh, oh. it's down there, yeah, too. Transistone. The battery back fell off in there. But really cool little Philco um, transistor radio. I think it just has a really cool look. Has a clean battery compartment. There's the back to it. Luckily, I found that. And then this is a really old um, fishing reel. And this one's in super good condition. You guys probably noticed these over here. Um, these are pretty rough. They were out in um, an old shed out in the backyard. I'm going to take that one. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we'll look at those real quick. Uh, we don't know the, the full condition of these. What did we pay for the... $50 for all of them. 50 for all of these. The most interesting one, I think, look, it, there's some old fly reels, a couple of those. Um, this one here is the one I'm most interested in. Let's slide that out. I think this one is Kane. I'm gonna, it's stuck underneath of these. Z, can you help me? Um, okay, can you slide it out of the way for a second? Yep, I'll let Zena do it. I'm one handed. Okay, so we got it out of there. Here we go. This is where you would put the reel. It slides in there, but this thing is in, for that container, that little tube being in such bad condition, this thing looks awesome. I was really worried it was gonna be rough. There will probably be some manufacturer's markings somewhere. If you guys know about, um, about vintage and antique fishing, stuff let us know uh one of the, the the guy that runs our antique mall him and his wife he is really super duper into this old stuff so we may do some research like here we've got shakespeare wonder cast number 1777 that'll be easy to look up but we may take this stuff to him and let him look at it and maybe he'll want to buy it from us i don't know we'll see though but pretty cool so lots and lots of old fishing rods and reels okay so uh the other thing that i made a deal for was these trolls so oh I yeah got... I, f I forgot until after we left that xena had made a deal on these trolls so i got uh hold on let these canadian geese go by <laughs> <laughs> they're loud okay go ahead so i got um three inbox trolls rooting for you oh let's got it there we go got it Okay, so, all right, so here we go. This is a big lot of trolls. Now she had these listed on Marketplace for, was it 160? Yes. And we've bought and sold a, quite a few trolls. So we were kind of like, eh, but Xena made a deal with her for $50. 50 for bucks for all of them. So that's everything in the bag and then the two over there. And another bag. Oh, and another bag, woohoo. Yeah, so we got I didn't realize Lombard. there was three of these magic trolls. So these actually don't sell for a ton on eBay, but we're going to probably put these in the booth. So this is Alyssa, and then there's Leah, Leela, Layla, Layla, and then Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa. She's the sassy one. Mm -hmm. I love, they're super cute. Their little blue hair is, see if we can get a no glare. There you go. They're really cute. So those are cool. And then in here we got, oh, it's one of those creepy ones that you unscrew its booty to put batteries in it. <laughs> She had one of these in a case in the house too that I saw. Uh, what do we got? Santa. He needs his hair fixed a little. A little jazzercise girl. Oh, another booty troll. Yeah, I don't know what these are. No, I don't either. We're gonna have to unscrew them and replace the batteries. So see if they we work. have the Canadian Mountie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's got this little hat and everything. How cute. We have the little, that the little one. Santa one. Okay, and then this. I wonder if this will go with those other ones that we got. Oh, the dinosaur. Maybe guy? this one. He's got his little furry boots and everything. A little caveman. Look at this dude. Here, help me get these down in there a little. There, there we go. This one's cute. What the heck brand is that? Wow, if, it's like weightless. Made in Korea. That is so light. Yeah. 
Then there's uh, this one. Another Christmas troll. Oh, it's going to be so tempting to keep the Christmas ones. All right, let's see here. We got... Oh, look at that guy. Oh, his <gasps> tongue comes out. <laughs> okay, so that's really cute. He squeezes his belly and his little tongue sticks out. And here's another one. Awesome. Oh, These are not so working. cool. Well, his tongue may just be stuck up in there. Oh, it's split. He's got a split tongue. This little oh guy. Oh my gosh, how cute. I love the ones in the little outfits. Treasure troll. Little belly. Belly gym. Oh my god, this one's so cute. Ace novelty treasure troll. <gasps> oh, she let me buy... I bought a couple of trolls from her singular as well. They're in a bag back there. Um, and they're uh, Halloween ones. This one is cute. It's got its little tag. A Wishnik Troll by Unita. Unita this, Troll. This is weird. Oh, that one is weird. It's like rubber. That one's an actual Norfin Troll, though. That's pretty cool. What it's is a that? Flashlight. A flashlight? <laughs> How weird. <laughs> uh, the button is right in its booty. <laughs> That's funny. Look at the eyes on that one. Bug eyes. So we're looking for the ones that say damn on the bottom. D-A-M. That one's goofy looking too. His hair is messed up. Look at that nose. These are so fun. A baby. We've actually had the same one in the house. Uh -oh. oh no. Xena just threw another baby on the ground. Oh, this one you squeeze its shoulders and it opens. Okay. Oh yeah, we have like two or three of those in the house too. Another baby. And then some. Oh, wow, there's way guy. more. Than oh, I look at there's the one with the weird eyes you're oh, talking yeah. about. She had one of these in her case. It's a pencil topper. Look at its eyes. It looks like someone painted them on with white out and a pen. This one. Look, it's giggling. <laughs> <laughs> that one's creepy. Oh, it's got built in clothing. <laughs> so cute. I, their little outfits are just so cute. What else you got there? A hopping bunny. You're my honey bunny. That's what my papa used to oh, call my meemaw. This creepy. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right, I might keep that one just because it's uh -huh. so freaking weird. You like press its belly button. Uh. There's a few more little small ones. That pink one's weird too. And oh, that one's got a little tooth. It's not focusing on it. There we go. Oh, oh, this kinda. one's like a Christmas ornament or something. It's got a hook in its head. Oh, it does have a hook. We need to hang that on our Christmas tree. All right, next. Okay, so we that's got a all lot the to go through. We got. Let's do this bag here because it's got more um, trolls in it. So we got this Stuart Little in the box. I think it's like 1992 or something, 1999. So that's cool. A Disney Xfinity. Ex Infinity. Infinity. <laughs> Disney Infinity. I thought this was cool. I didn't notice that the antenna was broken until after I made the deal, but that's okay. It's still just a cool little shelf sitter. This is from a local radio station, uh, Rock Station, The Cat, which I thought was cool. It's got um, the tag on it that shows the radio station, but that's really neat. <laughs> Phaser set to stun. I have no idea what this goes to, but it's fun. Oh, and here's my two little trolls that she let me get for my personal collection. Little Witch and a Little Frankie. So those are super, super cool. Okay. That cat one needs to go in the booth. Okay. What next? Uh, I guess uh, that bag has got squash in it. So. Which, oh, this this paper bag right here? Yeah. Okay. Um, I grabbed this. At, this was like the last minute. We only had 20s with us, and we didn't want to break a 20, so we threw this in. But we ended up breaking a 20 anyway. Yeah, yeah. But um, this is cool. It's never. It looks like it's never been used. I mean, it's floating around in there, but... It's still got, you know, all the papers and everything. It looks like it's never been played with, but it's like a pump up. You pump the air air pump and it creates pressure and it takes it off. Go. So 1982, that's as old as I am. <laughs> Dang, it's old. Not as old as you. <laughs> um, let's grab those plush back there. Okay. Let's save the, let's save this for last. I know. Yep. All right, careful. So we got a great big, uh, is it Babar or Barbar, however you want to say it, I guess. He's pretty cool. Um, I think he, oh yeah, he does have his tag. He's definitely vintage, 1988. So that's cool, made by Gund. So that's a nice one. 
nice quality one. We got this old um, Curious George. He did, he's missing his tag. I couldn't find a tag on him anywhere. I'll have to look again and make sure it's not hidden like in his shirt somewhere, but definitely older. Um, we got Lamb Chop, baby Lamb Chop. She's, She's got her little, yeah, she is a puppet. Um, you put your hand up there. <laughs> And she's got her little pacifier. And then we grabbed this one. I just thought it was weird. Oh, does it have a name on it? It does. Wrinkles Ink. I uh, in need of cuddles. But it's kind of creepy. And, you and stick uh, your hand in the back of his head. Yeah, you stick your hand <laughs> in the back of its head. And look at this tongue. That's weird, but still pretty cool. I have a feeling that'll do all right on eBay. And then Zena, she had a bunch of uh, Doughboy stuff, and Zena loves the Doughboy stuff, and we found this um, plush in the box. So pretty cool. He's supposed to do the little giggle, but his batteries are dead. Yeah, we did. So we got a couple of books. Let me get these out of the way. Okay, thank you. Got a couple of books. I just grabbed these because they're a set, basically. Different volumes. What do we got? 10, 11, 13, and 15 Raggedy Ann and Andy hardback books. So those are really cool. Those may be a booth item. And then this was her personal set of Little House on the Prairie books. Um, I read these growing up. I think a lot of little girls did, but full set in the box still. She said these were her personal one that she read growing up. And one of them actually even has a little piece of paper in there, a little bookmark in it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, here's the rest of the Pillsbury stuff that Double. Zena picked up. Yeah, I didn't want that mug to fall out. Okay, there we go. So we got a little coffee mug. We do pretty good with Pillsbury stuff in our booth. Never really tried selling it online. There's three of these little plastic cups. There's like a little Pillsbury parade. Very cute. Three of those. And then we got utensils. These need to be washed up real good, but... Pretty cool pie server, a whisk. They all have a little doughboy at the bottom of them. Really super cute. So we'll probably just sell those all together. Had this, uh, it's like a commemorative glass doughboy birthday for the 30th birthday. That's pretty cool. Spoon rest. This little Jesse doll was just st sitting down in, in here when we found it. Um, these little rubber Doughboys, we sell these for, I think, 7 or $8 in the booth. And they sell. Every time we put them out, they sell really quick. Which is weird, but pretty cool. Uh, this is a sponge caddy. So you'd put your dish sponge in there. You could even use it for, like, an air plant or something, I guess, now if you wanted to. Um, we got the salt and pepper shakers with Mr. and Mrs. Doughboy. And then these little Morton salt uh, sugar and creamer. What's in there? Oh, I'll let you get that one out because that's your fancy one. Well, let's uh, get these in the box and then we'll... Oh, or are you just going to go ahead and pull it out? It's not fancy. It's just oh, a little... Why did, I think, why did I think you got one of those fancy ones? So uh -huh. what would this one be for? Your dish brush? Like yeah, if you had probably. a brush? Really cute. Are these dated? 88. 88. You want to lay him down or That's stand fine. him up? That's fine. Go ahead. Okay. okay, so next we got this box here. It's got some glassware and stuff. Some of these are a little chipped up and stuff, but we didn't pay too much for them. Oh, oh my you're making me nervous. Okay, let's start with this. Oh, that sounds awful. Sorry. Oh, these are all the dishes from inside. So these yeah. are some of the last things that we that we bought. So also, carnival glass dish. Note really to cool. self, if you know you're gonna go do a private pick somewhere, bring boxes or a bag <laughs> or something. Yeah, because they're not necessarily ready for you to carry stuff out. So. Got the carnival glass butter dish, really beautiful. This one, uh, what would this be, like soup bowl or something? Or put yes. nuts, or, I have no idea. But just really pretty. Like all iridescent, look at this. Oh, let's see if I can get a better, with a little bit of the light gone. Little footed like dish, just gorgeous. I love the, the like milk glass edges, or I don't know what that is. I don't wanna call it the wrong thing, but it's just really pretty. Uh, oh yeah, hand carved turtle. This thing is super heavy. It's solid wood. Really pretty neat. One sec. I don't think there's any markings on this. We'll have to look at it really close and make sure we didn't miss any, but there's no obvious like on the bottom. Super cool. Don't worry, I'll dig in here. 
And then we got this other turtle. This one has like some like, was it abalone? Is that what that's called? The abalone shells, right? Yeah, I think so. And this one is carved like onyx or something. It's uh, black stone. So I would guess that it's onyx, but really re very pretty. And then we've got this little dish. I don't know what the heck you would do with this either. Maybe put some candies in it or some nuts or something. Carnival glass also, beautiful. And this one, this one just in the light, just almost just looks like a clear dish, but then you get that iridescent. So pretty, I love it. And we're still not sure what the heck that one's for. It, this is like recessed right here, so it almost looks like something would sit in it, but I don't know. It could be some type could of serving a, dish. Is it supposed to be a flower? Maybe it could be a serving dish. It could hold a candle. It could be whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, I think it to it, be. a candle would be perfect. So, and then also out in one of the sheds was the stuff in this box. We found this cabbage patch doll. She's got her tongue sticking out, so I don't know. She may be one of the good ones. Not sure. Um, the lady just didn't seem to really care about her too much. Um, she's got an actual cabbage patch diaper on. Uh, Let's see if we can, what does she say there? 1983, and I see an 11 on there. I don't see any other numbers, so maybe she's a head mold 11, I'm not sure. We'll have to research her a little further, but hopefully she's worth a lot. And then I grabbed this one because I just wasn't sure. And this was like one of the, these were like some of the first things we grabbed, just mm -hmm. trying to test the waters and see how much she was gonna want for stuff, but she needs a new dress. It's uh, well, had a little mouse party, the but that they like kept in the cases. Yeah, all these were kept. Weeks. Yeah, inside these the house. Were the ones the kids were actually playing with. Yeah, there's like curio cabinets and stuff is displayed in the house, but these were just out in the out she in the shed. She reminds me of Barbie for some reason. She kind of does, like Skipper maybe. Oh yeah. And then there's some little like homemade um, Cabbage Patch pants. You can tell they're homemade, no tags or anything, and they just the stitching looks homemade, but still really cool. My uh, personal Cabbage Patch from when I was little has homemade clothing. Um, we got the... These are super cute. Unicorn salt and pepper shakers. Here, you want to pull stuff out? That, that hurts to lean over. We got some of the little monthly angels. That one's an August little boy angel. And he's got a watermelon and a picnic basket. Weird little iridescent kind of cat. See if it'll show better back here in the dark a little. I don't know, just a little like stone or something cat and it has a little bit of iridescence to it. I have no idea. Teapot, I picked that up because you're a teapot lady. You tend to pick up teapots. I want to pick up that one, but oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Made in Japan. Uh, these two squirrels. These two squirrels are weird. I think they would probably be um, outdoor decoration maybe. I don't know. They are kind of dinged up. They got little chips in the paint and stuff, but they're still really cool. Sorry. Ugh. Two more of the... March and February. Who makes these? Is it Homeco? Inesco. Inesco Month Angels. Got this one here. This is a little planter. It's got some, some like boots or something and then a little poodle. Put your little plant back there. Um, it's got some kind of marking but you can't read it. These are salt and pepper shakers. How cute are those? Okay, we got the elephant. So the elephant is just really, I think he's cool, but he is missing its tusks, so I don't know. I think it'll still sell even without the tusks. Tusks, that's one of those hard words. This guy, another planter. What do we pay for this box? Like 20 bucks for everything? Um, and then the- um, I don't remember. Oh, 30 bucks for this salt and, and the pepper, books. Salt and pepper. Yeah, salt and pepper shakers are like, um, uh, what are those jugs that you would put? What do you call it? Not, it's liquor, but it's moonshine. Moonshine, moonshine. That's, what, that's what I'm looking for. So, and then, so then we decided to just take a chance on this cuckoo clock. Um, it, as you can see, the chains are all messed up. Oh, there's a little birdie in there. Um, and there was a broken piece. Oh, it is cracked right here too. There was a piece that she had that was just like in the box. Um, we don't know where it attaches to, but Honestly, I bought it because I know for sure that I can sell these weights. I have sold these weights before, and they're marked with how heavy they're supposed to be. It's just hard to read, but um, I sold these that were much bigger that were for a grandfather clock, but 
Um, we may be able to, we'll look at this closer and look at the mechanism on the inside, see if it's sellable on its own. Somebody may buy this just to repair it. No idea. I'll have to figure out if I can get in there and look at that, but pretty cool. Okay, and last but not least, we were about to leave and um, I saw a camel poster similar to this one, camel cigarettes poster out in their sunroom. And I said, oh, that's a cool Joe Camel poster. And she said, oh, I got a box full of that crap in the house. And I went, ooh. And she said, do you want to see it? And I was like, yeah. And she pulls out this box. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. There is uh, all these like prom promotional couple of posters. There's this one. It's folded, but she said, yeah, my mom used to buy all this stuff just to get the, the giveaways. That one feels empty. I think we took the shorts out of it there when we were looking at it. Did you get that one? Oh, here we go. Zena's got this one. Oh, it's backwards, but still cool. Yeah. Really cool. So there's a couple of these. They have these. This one has the shorts in it. The shorts for this one are right here. You want to hold those up for us? So you bought this thing. It came with three packs of cigarettes and a pair of Joe Camel shorts. So all vintage, really cool. Um, this one, hold that one up, Zena. This is like you put like a what? Six pack of a cans. Six pack of cans in it, your beer cans, and you sling it over your shoulder. That's pretty neat. We got just like a camel tin. Oh, is there points in, in it? No. A oh, pack a pack of, of matches. Cool. Matches. You can smell it. Now we haven't gone through this box completely. Um, she said, I said, how much, we started digging through it and I said, listen, how much for just the whole box without us just digging through the whole thing here, if we just throw you a price for the whole box. And she said, well, what do you want to give me? I said, how about 30 bucks for the box? And she said, sure, take it. So um, what else? We got some playing cards. So we haven't fully looked through this, but there's probably some more playing cards laying down in the bottom that's popped open. We have one of these for sale in our booth right now. It's just like a little cup. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. There are some hats. Oh, that one's got another beer thing in it. Another beer sling and a hat. And then here is what the hat looks like. This one has been taken out before. This one has, it has paper in the bottom of it. Yeah, that one's got some paper in it. That one's in great condition because it was stored in that bag. Yeah. This one is a little faded and stuff. It's still ultra cool. Look, it's got a little tiny Joe Camel on the back. Let's see if there's any tags. I don't see tags on them, but... Oh, the other one does. I'll have to look at the other one closer then. What's this? A bolo tie? Oh, this is just a random bolo tie. Okay. <laughs> not Joe Camel, but there's another cup. We've got these koozies. Look at them relaxing. Club Camel. Put your beer can you down see, there. You see those pants? Those fancies one almost look like those MC Hammer pants. Yeah, my dad used to call them jams. Uh, what else? Is this a calendar? A year in pictures, Joe Camel. Oh, look, and they're all crossed off too. She actually used this. I love it. Oh, well, she used it for the first month. <laughs> What's this thing? Psst, got a minute. It's a, like a jacket or something. It's got a zipper on it. I wonder it if like it's a, a poncho. Rain, poncho raincoat. It might be. Interesting. We'll have to look those up before. I don't want to open it until we know. So let's put these aside. We'll look at those last. Got another cup. That's a taller one. Playing a harmonica, smoking a cigarette at the same time. Club Camel Max. Uh-oh, I saw a damaged one in there. Uh, this one actually has the cigarettes still in it. We got a good laugh out of that while we were there about how awful. I mean, cigarettes are gross anyway, but can you imagine some, like, 30-year-old cigarettes? Whoo! That'd be rough. So this is another one that has the shorts in it. Um, this one... Oh, this one's a t-shirt still in the box. T-shirt down in there. We've got uh, this camo one, I think, is a, another t-shirt. That's what the t-shirt looks like inside of it. So... Looks like she smoked all the cigarettes but missed one, that one box. So there's the other two back there with the with the uh, shorts. So let's start holding up some t-shirts. I see one with some some yuck on it. So that one may not be savable, but these, these are, are single stitch. Yeah, they're single stitch. The first one I picked up while we were there was single stitch, and I just saw the other made in USA. I've never seen that tag before. This has got. Um, Can we see the back of it? Yeah, it's kind of. Cracking the back yeah, it's of the... cracking from just being old, but it's got the beach babe on it like it's... What was that beach show? 
Uh, uh, Baywatch. Oh, Baywatch. I feel like they kind of go like... Another uh, one. T- what was the Miami Vice guys? They kind of remind me of that. Oh. Tubbs and... This one is... I don't know. I've never seen that. I'm not old enough. <laughs> what? Crockett and Miami Tubbs? Crockett and Tubbs. Oh, okay. She said she n- never saw it because she's not old enough. <laughs> so this one's got some horrible staining. We'll see if we can get any of that out, but... Oh, it's got bikers on the back, too, and it's dated, 1990. So that one's really cool. Oh, here's another one. That's the same thing, right? No, this one's got... Oh, is got, it different? This one's got the guys... Oh, that one's cool. The hard pack instead of the rat pack. Yeah. Single stitch. There's another one and another one. Oh, that one's got some stains on it, too. That's okay. The stains this aren't one's just got the... horrible. Uh, Joe Camel off. <laughs> the tag says, my shirt, made in USA. <laughs> Smooth character. And you notice, like, if you get a giveaway shirt these days, it's always an extra large. These uh, definitely look like a large or smaller. This one's actually extra large. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one looks bigger. Augusta River Race, 1992. Oh, look at the tag on it. The tag has Joe Cool on it, too. Yeah. That's neat. It's actually got the boats racing down the river. The That's back. a cool one. Yeah. That's cool. And there's a black one in here. So this is the first one that I saw that I went, <gasps> I got excited. Be a big girl shirt. Come on. No, nah, none of them are going to fit me. <laughs> Joe's garage on the pocket. He's a beefcake on the back. <laughs> oh, he's a handsome guy. He's got those like slouchy 90s pants. And then we've got this bag here. Uh, what's this? A lighter. This is a lighter? Or matches or something. Lighter. It is. You press down the little cigarettes to... Holy <laughs> crap! Woo! Glad I got that on camera. Jeez. Look at that flame. Dang! That hasn't been lit since the 90s. Holy crap. All right, Zena, here. Push the box back so we can look through this uh, bag okay, here. Because it's, it's, it's full of stuff. Full of little stuff. And I'm excited about it. Okay, go ahead. Can you unzip it for us? Yep. I only got one hand. What? There's a, I see a lighter thing that you put your lighter in. Just rip it. It doesn't matter. We're going to put it in something no, else. No, this, this bag is toast anyway. Yeah, I know. Here, I'll show you guys what I just saw. This guy. So you put your lighter down in it. It's like a lighter sleeve. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. Look at this. And here's one. Oh, with cigarettes. It's still got cigarettes attached to it. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. A whole set of are they Christmas these are Christmas Joe camel lighters that's pretty cool oh more cigarettes cigarettes and a pack of cards Wow I told you Z we can just take up smoking we can do it for free we Ooh. can oops sell these cigarettes on the, the black cigarettes market off. for 20 bucks oh troll playing cards sorry guys I get easily excited can you tell <laughs> those are really cool what is this thing? Oh my matches. gosh, a whole box or carton thingy of matches. Now that's cool. Never been opened. That's way cool. Lots of playing cards. More troll cards. That one's open so we can look at it. Club camel lighter. That one works. Should we try another one and see if I light my face on fire? Look, the sun popped out. Nope, that one's not working right now. What is this? Oh, that's got a that's got a pack of cigarettes in it. And three lighters taped to it. Look at that. Uh-huh. Floyd, Eddie, and Floyd. And then there's another one in there too. So we've got four lighters. That one's Max. This is oh, California. These are raisins. Atlanta Braves. Cal- they're actual raisins from California. Yeah, Ew. they expired May 30th of 1992. Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> Do not eat. More playing cards. We got, oh. Yeah. A little gold plate. Or not, it's probably not actual gold, but never been lit. Kind of like Zippo style lighter. That's really neat. What is this phone? That's random. Maybe the rest of that's in there. Uh, more cards. Lighters after lighters. There's a toy from like McDonald's. There's a couple of random things in here. Some more lighters. Uh, oh, sweet. Look at that. Uh-huh. They're assorted, but 
maybe there's a banger in here who knows 50 baseball cards that's pretty cool some more camel stuff what's that open that up they're coasters. Uh, coasters neat with some camel bucks camel bucks in there yeah here's another set of those oh oh that one's heavy what's in here this has an ashtray in it that looks like a pool table yes it does Oh, and it has a poster too. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat one. A couple more things and then we'll be done. Oh my goodness. It's, is this like a game? You got to try to get the cigarettes in the pack, I think. You shake it around and try to get them in there. I'm guessing. That's what it looks like. A little like brain teaser kind of thing. That's odd. Funny, but odd. Got, oh, 20 magical years, Walt Disney World. Hey, is a 20th anniversary Walt Disney World pin in oh, the package. Wow. That's cool. And uh, take the bag. Is it empty now? Yeah. Another pack of cigarettes. We got like half a carton of cigarettes here. <laughs> <laughs> and one more lighter. So, um, well, let's see. Ready, guys? Yeah. Dang, Those yeah. things ain't playing, man. They need to be turned down. So, yeah. Um, so all together for everything we paid three hundred dollars right 290 290 that's right 290 for everything um i think we'll make the majority of that back just on the t-shirts the ones that aren't stained i mean we should do all right the t-shirts i was seeing um at least 20 bucks some of them go up to over 40 50 bucks so um i think we'll be okay and all that merchandise we should just make everything back on that alone so plenty of other stuff there to make uh, money in the booth on ebay some stuff will sell on dibbed it so that'll be fun but what do you think zina oh that was it was fun, fun huh yeah, hopefully fun. we'll have more private picks in the future hopefully this will lead to more so we'll see but um for now we appreciate you guys watching if you would like subscribe hit that notification bell we would greatly appreciate it we'll catch see you guys on the next time. one bye, bye.